all right hey guys you welcome back to another video in the channel and in this one we are done with another image J tutorial and uh, we're going to look at how to calculate the uh, fluorescence intensity of a particular staining inside the cytoplasm of a cell and also inside the nucleus so we're going to take one multi-layered image uh, which has got two channels which with the nucleus uh, and the cytoplasm separately I mean which has got two colored channels like the DAPI channel and the GFP channel and uh, we're going to use that to see uh, what is the intensity of the uh, stain inside the nucleus and also on cytoplasm so in order to do that uh, I've already launched image over here and I have got two images over here which I'm going to drag and drop onto image and they are going to open so I'm going to you know command minus and reduce the size of the image so this is my nucleus channel the DAPI channel this is the green fluorescence channel the first thing that I want to do is go to image type and 8-bit so that it becomes black and white the same thing for the other one all right now starting with the nucleus or the DAPI channel I'm gonna make a selection first image then go to adjust and threshold the shortcut is Control shift t or command shift t and you need to play with the sliders so that the nuclei are you know red in color and the background is dark so I'm gonna put this all the way down and I'm gonna play with this so that it becomes it becomes red in color after this I'm gonna hit apply okay and once that is done I'm gonna go to file and sorry I'm gonna go to edit go to selection and I'm gonna create selection over here so I don't know whether you can see it or not but there's a faint yellow line outside the nucleus and this means that the nucleus is selected so I'm gonna go to file go to save as and save this selection not the image but the selection so you get this dot ROI extension for this I'm just gonna call it nucleus and save it right so now when that is done I'm gonna close this I don't need that anymore now for this green channel image I'm gonna duplicate this go to image and hit duplicate it's going to duplicate the image resize it now, why I'm doing this is I want to measure the nucleus uh, on one of the image and the other image I'm going to use for measuring the intensity on the cytoplasm so let's start with the nucleus so both are in uh, black and white both are in 8-bit format the same thing we need to do with these images as well we need to go to the image adjust and threshold and make the foreground red And the background background should be dark I think this is enough do, do the same thing with the other image need to make the foreground red okay all right now selecting one of the images I'm selecting the right one and go to file and open up the nucleus selection image that I just created okay do the same thing with this one as well open nucleus and you have them exactly on place okay so this is the advantage of creating a selection all right now what I want to do is this one I'm going to use for the nucleus uh, the staining inside the nucleus so selecting this one I'm going to go to edit and I'm gonna say clear outside so only the nucleus is selected for this one I'm gonna say edit 
go to selection and I'm gonna go to create selection and this is going to select everything except the nucleus that's how you just just uh, tap into the cytoplasm now selecting this I'm gonna go to analyze and go to set measurements and check whether all my measurement parameters are set so we need the integrated density the area the standard deviation mean gray value so it's there okay go to analyze once more and hit measure so this is the mean value okay now for the gfp again go to analyze and measure it's um this value you have the raw intensity as well over here and you have the mean intensity over here so this shows that the the staining in the nucleus is more than that of the cytoplasm and that's kind of true because the the image that i'm i'm using right now um the staining is the i've stained it with an antibody against a transcription factor so transcription factors normally localize in the nucleus more than the cytoplasm so you have a little bit more expression in the in the uh, i mean a little bit more intensity in the nucleus rather than the cytoplasm so yeah you can do this with a couple of more images of the same staining and you can you know create a graph of the mean intensity of the nucleus and the cytoplasm so that's about it for this video hope you learned something new and i'm going to see you in the next one bye bye